Good evening. Federal investigators are still on the scene here after that home built helicopter crashed near Andale this morning. It happened just after 8 o'clock near 53rd Street West and 255th Street North. That's where we find Cake's Jocelyn Schifferdecker with what we know. Jocelyn. Yeah, Deb, we are out here in western Sedgwick County where that helicopter crashed earlier today. You can see some investigators are still out there examining the area, trying to figure out what exactly went wrong. We are quite a good distance away, so we're going to zoom in a little bit. But if you look really closely, kind of at that tree line right there, you can, you can see some flashing lights, some yellow caution tape around the area. So this is about 10 hours after the crash happened, and investigators will be out tomorrow as well, as they are still trying to figure out what caused the helicopter to crash. Helicopter crash near... And a call into 911 came early Friday morning. Witnesses say they saw a helicopter crash into this soybean field, killing a 70 year old man from Sedgwick County. It was next to a, a body of water, a pond, and in the trees. Um, uh, said it, it, it appeared to have some type of engine issues when it was when it was coming down. Investigators spent all Friday morning and into the afternoon checking out the scene, trying to figure out what went wrong. We have crews out here. Um, canvassing the field. Anything that might have come off the uh, aircraft of some type, we're, we're out searching for that. If you look closely, you can see yellow caution tape around a tree and authorities walking around. This is where the helicopter crashed. It happened just after 8 Friday morning. 935, this is a priority two call and with our distance, can we please start the fire department? When first responders arrived, they found a small helicopter on fire. The Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office says it was a home-built, non-commercial helicopter. The National Transportation Safety Board says it was a Rotorway Scorpion 133. A quick Google search shows it looked something like this. You can order a kit to build one at home. The FAA is on scene doing their investigation along with the Sheriff's Department and the NTSB will be out here soon to, to figure out what's going on. We talked to the property owners who witnessed the crash. They did decline to comment, and the NTSB will be out here tomorrow morning to continue the investigation. It is asking anyone who saw the crash or has any information to please report it, and we do have its contact on our website, cake.com. For now, reporting live in Andale, Jocelyn Schifferdecker, Cake News on your side.